Welcome to the Orange County Animal Care Town Hall for District 2. I am Katrina Foley, your Orange County Supervisor. Today, we will be discussing the many ways that Orange County Animal Care houses and provides care for lost and stray animals, including medical care, how to make an appointment to adopt a pet from their shelter, and you'll get to meet the staff and go on a virtual tour of the wonderful facilities. Now, I have always been a cat person. We have cats in our home. When I was a girl, I actually had a pony. Um, that was my favorite pet. But right now, my son, my oldest son, he loves cats as well. So he actually found a cat in an alley that he took on and brought into our home. And he and his buddy, it was a brother and sister pair of cats that they found in an alley. And so they now I guess you consider that adopting. <laughs> um, people love their pets here in Orange County, especially in District 2. I know that when we talk to residents and go door to door, everybody has an animal. Um, our OC Animal Care helps to promote the safety of dogs, cats, bunnies, and even reptiles that come into our lives. They work with hundreds of nonprofit rescue groups and take in thousands of animals each year. This means helping the animals they rescue with their daily feed, shelter, and medical care, with the goal of connecting every pet to a loving forever home. The care shelter also provides pet licensing and patrol services to the 14 contract cities. And in District 2, that means Fountain Valley, Cypress, and Rossmore, and as well as all the unincorporated areas in Orange County. Over the last year and a half, it has been very tough with um, COVID-19. And at the height of the pandemic, many responsible pet owners found themselves in uncharted territory, needing to reach out for assistance. Our OC Animal Care helped to establish drive-through pet uh, pantries, and you could drive up and you could get food. Um, they distributed thousands of pounds of food to keep pets in Orange County healthy and thriving and in homes. So if you're considering adopting an animal, then you've come to the right place to learn how. Right now, I wanna first start by introducing Andy Bernard, who is our Director of OC Animal Care. Following a rigorous recruitment, Ms. Bernard was selected and accepted the position of Director of OC Animal Care in September of 2020. Ms. Bernard served as the interim director for nine months prior, so she has a lot of experience with our animal care shelter. Uh, she brought strong leadership to the position. She is a seasoned county administrator with more than 15 years of public sector experience. She previously served as the ranking human resources manager for Orange County Community Resources for two years before accepting the position of interim director of OC Animal Care. Under Ms. Bernard's leadership, OC Animal Care continues to do the good work that is currently underway on behalf of our animal welfare and public safety in our community while navigating the unexpected challenges of the pandemic. OC Animal Care's path is guided by the board adopted strategic plan and our staff work hard to showcase the successes and outcomes they have received. And today we want to hear all about them. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Bernard and she's going to give us an update on what's happening at the OC Animal Care and what are some of our statistics for our shelter. Greetings. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Supervisor Foley. I'm very excited to be here and we're happy to talk about all the great things that we do here at OC Animal Care. Um, currently, our save rate is actually for dogs 95.7% and for our cats that's 78.9% with an overall combined save rate of 86%. And so what that means basically is that the percentage of animals 86% overall of our cats and dogs that go out, they are going out to homes or they're going to rescues because they have special needs to find their permanent home thereafter. Uh, now, <laughs> Director Bernard is going to give us a presentation on the facts and statistics about our animal care shelter. Director Bernard? <laughs> Absolutely, I'll take it from here. So this is an OC Animal Care update. This represents actually the um, last 10 months. So from January up through October 
of 2021. And of course, it's November now. And uh, if we move to the next page, I can go ahead and share with you all the great things that we've been doing here. So um, first and foremost, we are open and operating safely. We have been since day one of the pandemic. And I just want to say here that I am so thankful for all of our staff here. They are our um, hugest resource, of course. And so our current operational model is built to protect the safety of our staff and the community, as well as our shelter pets, as we work towards our mission of providing refuge and care for the animals, fostering the human animal bond and promoting safety in our community. We've been open for appointment um, since the get go uh, to meet the needs of those who are adopting and or redeeming a pet. We have our field services calls that continue uninterrupted to protect the um, community and serve all the animals and folks that are in need. We also have our foster program, which is thriving with more than 250 animals out there um, temporarily housed before they come back and find their permanent home. And we also are very lucky to have our rescue program that matches behavior and medical animals with rescue organizations trained to meet their individual needs. Last year, I have our pet food pantry that we provide essential food and supplies to families in need for domestic animals. So cats, dogs, birds, I mean, whatever we have and whatever supplies we might have as well. Next page, please. Okay, so here I just wanted to show you all of the accomplishments that we have um, been happy to experience over the last 10 months here. And so of course, again, our dog save rate is 95.7%. And we're really thrilled about that because we are taking in through, especially throughout the pandemic, the most challenging animals. And so that, that is a, a pretty big deal for us here to um, have a 95.7% dog save rate. Our cat save rate is 78.9%, which is an overall of 86%, consistent with OCAC's strategic plan. Our call center answer times, if you call for um, pet licensing or even to um, place an appointment to adopt a pet, the average answer time is under four minutes. Our field response times out in the community are meeting and or exceeding our response time goals in all categories for our city partners and unincorporated area folks. And then the last button there that you see is our Family First drive through Pet Pantry. Since its inception in um, 2020, the beginning of 2020, we distributed over 94,000 pounds of pet food to assist 8,681 pets in our community. I'm very wow. proud about that. That's incredible. That's wonderful. We're excited about that and uh, very proud. It's tough work, but staff work very hard each day to make sure that we are serving the community. Okay, so what we learned from COVID, it was um, a huge undertaking at the beginning and staff were not afraid to pivot on a dime and make sure that we were servicing our community and making sure that the animals coming into our care were cared for and then of course finding new permanent homes. So pets, during the pandemic, we all saw made a huge difference during the pandemic because everybody was at home and uh, trying to stay safe. And so keeping our doors open was critical, making sure that animals that were in need uh, could come into the shelter for um, whatever special needs they might have and or a, a home. And then of course, our, we opened up the adoptions by appointment and it had been incredibly and continues to be incredibly impactful. Um, and, and some of the great things that we've experienced here um, since then is that our customer service experience has increased. Wait times for adoptions and redemptions as well as pet licensing has decreased. Animals in our care across the nation actually, but of course here at OC Animal Care too, are less stressed resulting in a decrease in stress induced illnesses here in the shelter. Our bite rate to visitors that were coming into the shelter has decreased by 69%. And that's a big deal here because we wanna protect the community and our shelter pets. And this is a stressful environment for them. And so we really appreciate um, that particular rate of uh, metric that we have there. Um, and then of course the adoption uh, by appointment system has a personalized tailored adoption visit that allows potential adopters the best fit for their family as evidenced by an overall decrease in our return rate. 
And lastly here, we've got um, our employees that we value so much, but they have more time to focus on our animals and get their work done. And we're very happy for that as well. Yes. Okay. All right, so looking ahead for 2022, in, in the next year, what we're doing right now is preparing for the holiday season, of course, and, and we want to be sure that folks are making great decisions uh, about um, not gifting animals out as a gift, because that is a very serious commitment, a 10 to 15 year commitment, so we want to be sure that the right discussions are being had, but we're also um, going to be working here during holiday season because it is the, um, I guess, tapering down from our peak season in the next uh, month or two, shelter maintenance here, and then kitten season preparation for next year, of course, because that is one of the um, unique things about Southern California specifically, but we have almost a whole year round kitten season because of the climate, the wonderful climate here, I should say. Um, and then the last thing we wanted to note here was that responsible pet ownership initiatives um, are always first and foremost on our mind. And we wanna make sure that we keep pets where they belong at home with their families. And so we will be moving uh, to pet licensing campaigns for cats and dogs and microchip clinics for um, domestic animals, large, medium, and small. And that's so all we have. Do you here get a lot of, um, do, do people give gifts of pets during the holidays? Is that a common occurrence? Sometimes folks do, but I think most of the time you really have um, people who are thinking through and just bringing an animal and as a surprise. I think if it's something that somebody has planned and said, I really, really would like to have, you know, this pet, um, you know, I'm sure it does happen from time to time. But what's really important is that um, an individual gets to pick that pet because that is such a big decision and making sure that um, you're understand when like for instance if someone comes in to adopt a point um adopt a pet uh we have trained staff who have a discussion with folks about um the different things like the home environment what type of personality um large or small you know the size matters on um, where they're living things like that all of those are you know discussions that should be um had and considered prior to bringing a pet home and even actually meeting the family right you might find a pet of your own that you would like to adopt but you want to be sure that if there are others living with you and um, if there are other pets too, you want to consider that, but certainly um, that you do have the pet meet um, your family and or you know, whoever's living with you to be sure that that is a permanent forever home for that animal. Wonderful. All right. And this, these pictures, the pictures of these two um, Shih Tzus here, they are from a case that we had a long time ago, but uh, we want to be sure that everyone's being a responsible pet owner. And we just want to thank everybody for pushing towards being a responsible pet owner. Thank you very much. All right. Well, and I think now we are going to take a tour of the OC Animal Care Shelter. So let's go on a tour. Hi, my name is Andy Bernard, OC Animal Care Director. Welcome to OC Animal Care. Behind me is our beautiful shelter and we are happy to have a shelter that we help about 18,000 animals a year here um, that are in need and to find permanent homes. We have a state of the art veterinary clinic here and we also have a foster program to help those animals that need temporary housing. We also have a robust adoption program and we have a very successful rescue program and we're happy to have rescue advocates that uh, work with us regularly to find permanent homes for our animals that have special needs. We service 14 contract cities as well as the unincorporated area for field services. Uh, clinic services here for those animals that do come in. We have a shelter section as well as a community outreach team and we have our pet licensing crew as well as our adoptions crew. So those are all the things that we have here inside of the shelter. Uh, why don't you come with me and we'll go on a tour. Hello welcome to OC Animal Care. My name is Susan Miller. I'm Chief of Shelter Services for OC Animal Care Shelter Services Department. So at the shelter we can house anywhere between 150 and 600 animals at any given time based on what time of the year it is. Um, and the cats are all housed in the admin building with their individual cages, with um, cubbies for their restroom. 
And then the dog runs, um, we have six different dog buildings um, that we use. They're indoor outdoor runs, so they can come in and out of, the, of their kennel, get some fresh air and come back inside out of the weather. Um, the floors are all heated in the winter time so that they're all um, climate controlled and they're all comfortable and happy in their new little homes until they can go home forever. We have rabbit cages um, that house the rabbits, specially designed in, inside the other rooms. In the exotic room, we can ha we house anything from lizards to uh, guinea pigs. And on any given day, we can have anything from birds, um, iguanas, guinea pigs, hamsters, you name it, we've seen it come through the shelter. Um, I've been with the OCM Care for 31 years now, and I have seen it all. Um, from hissing cockroaches to emus, um, we've had it here at some point in time. Um, and getting them all placed and getting them in their forever happy homes is, is what we're all about. And our goal is to place every animal um, in their new forever home. Welcome to OC Animal Care. I'm Amy. I'm in the Adoption Center here at the shelter. Um, this is where you'll come in when you arrive here. You'll see on our table we have clipboards with papers. It allows us to identify um, what you're here for, whether it's an adoption, a redemption, if you're interested in pulling as a rescue, or if you're just wanting some information, this is the information booth that we kind of have here. Once you're kind of checked in and whatnot, then you'll wait outside and then you'll be able to follow in and we'll take you where you need to go. So once you've completed your visit with the animal that you've, you've chosen to adopt, you'll actually wait here in our lobby until we're able to start with the paperwork. You're able to also come into the shelter to pay for your licensing. And then also we're accepting donations here at the front door. My name is Jennifer. I work at OC Animal Care. I'm the manager of the veterinary clinic. At OC Animal Care, um, we do have a state-of-the-art facility where we have digital x-rays. We have three surgical suites where we perform spay and neuter in addition to um, elective surgeries or trauma surgeries involving um, amputations, bone surgeries, and tropion surgeries. We um, take in multiple animals from cats, dogs, rabbits, guinea pigs. We also see wildlife. Um, here at the shelter, basically I oversee the medical care for the animals here to ensure that they receive the best medical care that we have, that they get the treatment they need to become adoptable and the care that they need until they could either be transferred to a rescue or back to their owner. Hi. So basically what we're doing is we're just gonna check to make sure his flight feathers are working, make sure we don't see any injuries, any trauma, any bleeding, um, and fractures. So we have a local raptor center to help transfer to and get rehabbed, fixed up, and head back out to the wild. They return them, they try and return them to exactly kind of the same uh, territory from which they came from. So we always try and get cross streets and whatever so they can go back and if they have a nest or something like that or a partner, hopefully they can find them. Okay. Hello, I'm Sergeant Espino. I'm with OC Animal Care. I've been working with the county for about six years. Some of the things, I work the field services. Some of the things that we focus on are rescuing, caring for stray, sick, or injured animals, uh, promoting public safety through uh, investigation of bite reports, we also uh, promote responsible pet ownership through education, patrols, and licensing. Uh, we also investigate allegations of animal cruelty. Uh, we also strive to reunite pets and their owners out in the field uh, to avoid bringing them into the shelter. Uh, we do this through microchipping and um, licensing. It's a very useful tool because we're able to uh, identify the owners and return the dogs and cats to their owners as soon as possible. We also offer what's called a uh, take me home program which is a no cost program that allows dogs that are dogs that are licensed to be reunited to their with their owners at no cost for the first impound. So some some of the ways we handle the calls is if we're out in the field we'll get a call we'll get a call in from dispatch letting us know uh, for example somebody was bitten and we'll use our computer to figure out exactly where the uh, incident occurred. We'll uh, take a look at the victim, make sure they're okay, we'll take photographs. We'll then speak with the owner of the animal and figure out exactly how the injury occurred, how the dog got out, 
uh, at that point we'll figure out if uh, quarantine in the home or quarantine at the shelter is going to be the best option and um, we'll inform the owner of their rights as far as uh, regaining their animal back at the end of the quarantine period, which is about 10 days. Hi, I'm Alexina and I am part of the community outreach team here at OC Animal Care and I do help a lot in the foster program. Right now we are in the intake lobby and this is where all the animals who are brought in come through. Most of the time the animals are underage, sick or injured and those tend to be the animals who more often than not go into our foster program. These are all animals who can be adopted. However, they need some specialized care, some time to grow, some time to get a little bit older and gain weight. So our foster caretakers take them into their homes and help them get ready for adoption. Once they're ready, they come back and they go up for adoption in our main lobby. Uh, and they also find adopters, adopters when they're in their foster homes as well. So our foster program is a really great chance for animals to either get a second chance or to get that specialized care and attention that they need before they're ready to go into your home. Thank you for coming on tour with us today. And we're very happy that we were able to share our wonderful facility with you and see all of the great things that we do to help our 18,000 animals that come through here each year. Just call, schedule an appointment, um, and stop by. We can help you if you want to find a new furry pet. If you'd like to donate or foster or adopt, you can reach out through ocpetinfo.com or you can follow us on social media. <laughs> uh, you're still muted, I think. There we go. That was great. Um, so really wonderful visit with our shelter. Really great to meet all of your amazing staff and to learn about all the different services that are provided there. I do hope that people in our community know that they can go to the shelter and they can adopt a pet. Maybe they can be a foster parent of a pet. <laughs> and we also just want to be a service if people are uh, you know, if their pet is needing some help. So now we are going to talk about how our new process for scheduling an adoption appointment and how to adopt a pet. Okay. Just seeing that video, that I'm so proud of all of them. It just makes me feel really good inside to see them doing the great work that they do. Okay, great. Okay. And then I think we're going to watch a video about how to adopt a pet, right? Here we go. At the Orange County Animal Care Shelter, located at 1630 Victory Road in Tustin, California, things are looking a little different as a result of COVID-19. But we are going to show you today how simple it is to make an appointment and adopt your new best friend. Since walk-in visitors are suspended until further notice, the first step is to contact Orange County Animal Care at 714-935 6848 to schedule an appointment to adopt or redeem an animal. If you aren't quite ready to adopt a pet, but would like to look through the amazing animals at the shelter, visit ocpetinfo.com. Hover over the adopt tab at the top of the page and select search adoptable pets. On this page, you can view the shelter's large selection of dogs, cats, and other animals, including guinea pigs and even chickens. After scheduling your appointment, you are ready to pay a visit to the shelter. After arriving at the shelter, make your way to the front door and check in with one of the wonderful volunteers who will patiently wait to assist you. You will then be given paperwork to complete while waiting outside. When the paperwork is complete, return it to the front door and the volunteers will collect it and notify you when it is time to see the animals. After that, an OC Animal Care Kettle Specialist will invite you inside and lead you to one of the animal viewing areas. In this video, our adopters are looking for a friendly cat to adopt. Adopters can then view the incredible selection of happy, healthy, and beautiful cats. You may even remove them from their cage and hold them if you desire. The animal care staff makes every effort to make the adoption process as personal as possible. After you've made your decision and selected your new family member, you'll be directed to the lobby to wait for the final adoption paperwork. After completing the paperwork, you will be guided to the front desk where you will pay the adoption fee and return the completed paperwork. 
Finally, your radiant pet will be brought out for you to take home by one of the fantastic animal care shelter staff. Adopting a pet from the Orange County Animal Care Shelter couldn't be easier. Well, that is great. And you know, our first family pets for my children when they were little boys, we adopted from the OC Animal Care. So it's a great place to get your pets. Um, so now we're going to move into our Q&A period. We have some questions from the community, from residents. And I'm going to start with a question from a resident named Michael. He asks, what is the current save rate of the shelter? So our combined save rate of cats and dogs is 86%. For dogs, it's 95.7%. And then for cats, that's 78.9%. And um, once again, that means that all of those animals are going to their permanent homes or they may have special needs and they're going to go out to a rescue um, for either behavior or medical reasons, but they're going to play, be placed in a home to meet their special needs. Thank you. Okay, we have another question from Joni. Joni asks, what happens to any sick animals that are at the shelter? For animals with medical conditions, we have a licensed veterinarian on staff that evaluates each animal and if appropriate, treatment is started while a rescue or foster placement is sought. We rely on our experienced guardian emergency foster caregivers as well as our rescue partners to accomplish this goal. And of course, the humane euthanasia is considered as a last resort when our veterinarian has deemed that the animal is irremediably suffering. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't want animals suffering. Um, so thanks for answering that. Okay, we have another question. Resident named Nancy, she's asking us, does the animal care agency collaborate with other, other shelters? Absolutely, yes we do. It's important to note that we are not the only animal care service provider in Orange County. Um, OC Animal Care serves 14 cities and the unincorporated areas here in our county, and we share the responsibility of caring for animals with 20 other jurisdictions. Um, we're fortunate to partner with hundreds of other agencies, actually, including other jurisdictions in the county and throughout the state as well. And we collaborate with many of the not-for-profit shelters and rescue groups in Orange County across the state and even beyond. Wonderful. Okay, the next question we have was actually one of the most asked questions, and it comes from many, many residents throughout the district. The question is, why isn't the TNR program implemented in OC by the shelter? Now, first, let's start with telling our viewers, what is the TNR program? So, it is the TNR stands for trap neuter release and so what that particular program is it's a community cat program um, wherein folks are trapping cats that are unsocialized and bringing them to a veterinarian or a clinic or something along those lines to have them spay or neutered and then releasing them back into the community so that they are not out there um, having, I guess, more kittens out there. Having kittens in the alley, like my son. <laughs> right, right. Um, so it is a way to limit the um, amount of cats and kittens out there um, that are unsocial and living as a community cat. Okay, so why are we not implementing that program here? So TNR, Top to Release Program, that is actually a hot topic here in um, animal care, OC animal care and across the nation, actually. Um, locally, we've been advised that the release of unowned cats into the community is prohibited. And so at this time, the managed intake of healthy cats, which doesn't bring them here to the shelter, um, is an industry best practice. We do continue to monitor litigation happening around the state and the rulings that may impact the penal code. And we're excited to see where the nation goes with the TNR programming. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, now another question. This is our final question and it comes from our office. What is the best way for someone to help out at the shelter? Are there volunteer opportunities for residents who want to participate? Absolutely, there are many ways for anyone in the community to get involved and help out. Um, of course, you could adopt your new furry friend and uh, bring one home. That, that certainly would help us uh, bring uh, 
dog, cat, any one of our animals. And like Sue said, uh, we've got uh, hamsters and guinea pigs and sometimes even chickens. Um, but of course, joining our foster and volunteer programs also very helpful for us or simply by donating uh, to help the animals here in need. And we have an Amazon page on our webpage that will directly connect folks if they do wanna donate. And you can visit us online at ocpetinfo.com and follow us on social media for any more information that you might be interested in. That's great. I suspect that that question came from our constituent services manager, Calvin Alvarez. He is the one in charge of all things related to animals here in District 2. And he's been helping me with lots of animal service issues and even preparing for this town hall. So thank you, Calvin. Um, well, you. it's been great to have you uh, with us today and great to share this information about our Orange County Animal Care Center. And we hope that you found this helpful. We hope you'll consider adopting a pet and volunteering at the shelter or even donating. So thank you all and have a great day and happy holidays. Thank you. Thanks for your support. Happy holidays. <laughs>